Whew, sun is shining. What's up guys? So I am now in Tessera Island in the Azores and um, just got here today, rented a car. Here's my little red car. She's manual, which is fun. I haven't driven manual in a while. Um, but don't really have a plan for today because I got here about an hour ago and it's about 6.22. What I do know is that there's a restaurant that I'm gonna go eat at. Because I was actually here before, uh, the summer before COVID. And I remember eating at this restaurant and oh, the food there was so good. So I wanna go back, <clears throat> go back there and eat there again. But right now, today, just winging it, gonna keep it low key because I'm only running on maybe two or three hours of power naps. Um, but right now I'm at the top of this like monument thing. As you can see, it looks over, I'm staying in an area called like uh, Praia, Praia de Vitoria. Uh, this is like one of the city sections of the island. The main city section is like kind of more towards the middle uh, called Angra de Hermosa, I believe. But yeah, this is so this uh, little viewpoint overlooks the uh, the harbor here. So all of this that you see in front of me is Praia de Vitoria. And my hostel is, actually I can see it from right here. I don't know if you can see the little blue one, right behind the tree in the middle, right behind there. Um, but yeah, there's some steps you can actually take up this way somewhere. I think right where that guy's just coming from right now. Um, some big giant steps. You see the beach over there. Some more beaches. Right over there is like the little downtown area. Like a little strip. But I think after here, what I'm going to do is go eat at that place. Then I might go and walk around Angra. Because I know there's a lot of lights and stuff there. I can show you guys what it looks like, you know, at night. Uh, it's probably all lit up and nice and stuff like that. But, yeah, my hostel is actually really, really nice. It was 40 bucks a night. It was called Zigzag Hostel. Zigzag hostel. The only downside is that, well, the good side is that I have no roommates. They told me I have the whole dorm to myself. The bad side is that because of there I have no roommates, I can't make any friends. So these two days might be just me alone, but that's all right because I go to Lisbon after this and I'll be living in hostel life. And I know there'll be way more people in those hostels. But let's see. <laughs> big, di big difference between this island and Madeira. Madeira was, there was people everywhere, a um, lot of action. Over here, a little bit more quiet. But my sole purpose of coming here was to uh, catch the bullfights, which there's some happening in a town somewhere here, but I'm actually gonna go to a town that I visited before the last time I was here. And it, and it happens to happen that tomorrow they're doing it there. So <clears throat> that starts at 6.30 p.m. And then it's like a, I don't know, after party, if you wanna call it. So that'll be that for tomorrow. And then I'm off to Lisbon. So yeah, let's go and find this restaurant. So, it's about a 15 minute drive from where I was earlier. But this was the restaurant that I wanted to come eat at. But unfortunately they're closed, which sucks. So, that's too bad. The food here is really, really good. But in front of it is like natural pools that you can swim in and stuff. Just like in Madeira. We got him here too. But I gotta go find somewhere else to eat now. Damn. Sucks. So, uh, unfortunately, the restaurant that I wanted to eat at, they were closed. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. I don't know, but there's another restaurant that I wanna try. 
so I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. Um, but I found this restaurant called uh, Vista Grill. Apparently they're pretty new. Um, some friends of mine recommended it when they saw my story. So pretty cool view for dinner uh, behind me and in front of me as well. Got the ocean right in front of me. Sunset right now. Can't complain at all. Um, I ordered the grilled limpets and uh, grilled octopus and a glass of wine, which I usually don't do. <laughs> I don't really drink wine like that. But <clears throat> the the limpets, I guess that's like a Azorian because they have a Madeira Madeira as well. But they're it's a pretty like local thing apparently and then octopus is just octopus but I know they, they eat a lot of octopus out here as well so yeah just ordered so the food should be out shortly so you was, I'll show you guys what I got so this right here are the limpets um, I guess they're like I don't know they're from the ocean I just don't know I mean I'm assuming they're part of the clam family the mussel family <laughs> but they're good I got a glass of wine as well, which uh, I find very odd because I don't. This is the first time I've ever ordered a glass of wine with my dinner. I don't usually do that. So let's get the first bite. Thank mm. you. That's not. So these limpets right here, they're seasoned in like a garlic butter. As you guys can see all the garlic and stuff. And then obviously here the butter. Oh yeah. Very, very good. 15 euros just for this. This is a starter. And then I have my octopus coming out very shortly. The octopus just came out. There you have it. Some kind of garnishing on top. We got some uh, potatoes. And some veggies to go along with it. Yes. Here, let's, uh, it's, uh, it what was the season of it? It said something about chimichurri on the menu. Chimichurri. Chimichurro. Chimichurri. We usually only have good white bread. Sorry, but that's why I know which Let's give it a first bite. Mm. A little bit of that garnish. Mm. Mm. Definitely got to go with the garnish. It looks very nice. Okay. It's not too chewy. I don't like it when it's too chewy. Mm. From Allentech. Oh, now he's okay. Let's try some of the potato here. You want to try before? No, no. You sure? Mm. Uh, yeah. It's sweet. Let me make sure I'm not giving you a slice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They tell me how far I'm supposed to pour it. Caram oh, <laughs> the vegetables are caramelized. I don't know the limits. No worries. That's why it looks so enjoy, please. mushy. I will. I apologize for the spoon. No worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Good. After dinner, I think um, maybe we'll go. We'll walk down to. Uh, maybe we'll drive down to uh, Angra, the main city, and um, walk around at night. See what's going on. I might stop by one bar uh, that was recommended to me uh, over in Praia de Floria and have a little nightcap and call it a night. So, let me finish up my meal and we'll get going. I was driving around a little bit um, in the, like this downtown area and there really isn't much going on but there's this cool looking church lit up um, this street looks cool 
there's like a big parade that happens that comes on this street, I believe. Uh, I don't know when, but. Like all these like little things light up and stuff. But yeah, there's like barely anybody out on the streets. And I don't know if I feel like walking around anymore. It's like nothing's happening, but let's see. Let's just see what. Let's just walk around anyway. See what we can find. It's dead. Yeah, it's dead out here. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's vlog. Tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's the big day. Gonna run around with the bulls.